Hello everybody, my name is Jerry Kipiterman and welcome back to another episode of Life is Strange Before the Storm. We are in episode 2 and currently we have fallen asleep and we're about to go into a dream sequence. I am assuming. Because that's what always happens when we go to sleep in this game. Oh yeah, this definitely looks like Shit. dreamy. I slept all day. Whoa. What the hell? See? Dream. Dad? Still sick. Dad? What are we doing here? I don't know if you've ever tried roasting a marshmallow on a, on a stick, like you see in the cartoons and the movies and stuff like that. <coughs> it's not efficient. It sucks. The the wood, the wood, the nasty wood stuff gets it on the marshmallow and you don't want to eat it because it's dirty. <coughs> Amazing, isn't it? I can't look away. <coughs> uh. Sure. Don't pretend. You're not mesmerized, too. See? You're so drawn to it, you don't even realize the danger. Danger? Fire blinds us. Just like darkness. But darkness blinds with absence. With loss. What does fire... Blind to it. Beauty. <laughs> Mystical. But sometimes there's a greater beauty yet to come. Incredible. Fire is jealous, Chloe. It wants all the beauty for itself. That's why you need to be careful. Whoa, this is getting creepy. Careful of what? Oh, jeez. Of getting burned. Hasn't anyone ever told you not to fall asleep with a lit cigarette? You could start. <laughs> so, are you gonna invite me in? Or what? I love giving rides <coughs> to strange drifters. Hop in. <laughs> Thanks.
Damn, you've been busy. It's nothing. Just some junk I found lying around. <coughs> what the heck? Angry when did my window fall? Red light? That is dark. Too dark. Perfect dark. Chloe, this is incredible. I, I can't believe you found us an escape vehicle already. That's the hope. But it doesn't exactly drive yet. You'll figure it out. And while you're at it, we're also gonna need some money. <laughs> you know, to buy stuff. Uh-huh. Car and money? <laughs> Anything else you'd like? Luckily, there's no rush. True. And no Blackwell. <sighs> Holy shit. <laughs> that Wells meeting. I'm so sorry. I can't believe he actually expelled you. <laughs> Why not? No reason to prolong the inevitable. It's definitely Blackwell's loss. You covering for me was amazing. I don't know how to thank you. <sighs> Whatever. You tried to cover for me too. Tried and failed. <laughs> I guess we know who the better liar is. Or maybe my lie was the one he wanted to believe. At least Wells has no idea what really went down with us last night. Shit got pretty wild. Last I checked, you're the one who went all puff the manic dragon on that tree last night. What were you thinking? I was angry. I didn't <coughs> expect the whole stupid park to go whoosh. But come on, doesn't accomplice sound way cooler than accessory after the fact? Is that the official Arcadia Bay DA's opinion? Accomplice it is. I'd be way happier going to jail than having to live at home with Dick Tater David. He announced his plans to move in this morning. Oh, Chloe, that's awful. <coughs> I'm so sorry. You know what we both could use? Therapy. Therapy. You start. Kick back and tell me what's bothering you. Well, Doc. There's this dildo with a mustache who's been dating my mom and now he thinks... <sighs> He's... Moving in with us. How do I stop him? Hmm. That's a hard one. I'm not sure there's really anything you can do. Then what the hell am I talking to you for? Just because you can't stop him doesn't mean you don't fight back. The resistance begins now. Alright. You're going to need a new nickname to mark your enemy. What have you got? He's a step douche because he's inserting himself where he doesn't belong. Also, he's a douche. <laughs> Poetic. May I also suggest step ladder? Why step ladder? Because he climbs on your mom every night. Gross. And pretty soon they'll be stepping down the aisle. What the hell kind of therapist are you? Sorry. It's called shock therapy. Highly controversial. That was actually <coughs> therapeutic. Thank you. It's always a pleasure delving into the mind of Chloe Price. And now it's your turn. Tell me all about what it's like being daughter of Arcadia Bay's most famous scumbag. It sucks. Too blunt? Sorry. I do that sometimes. Nah, I'm just... Ugh, I don't know. Can we talk about something else? Of course. I kind of fixed the truck a bit. That might mean I have life skills, something I've really tried to avoid. Upshot, 
I'm closer to becoming a car thief. That's pretty badass. Do you think there's a point when you've been acting so much that you don't even have your own personality anymore? You're just whatever you think other people want you to be. I think you have a personality. I wasn't talking about me. My dad doesn't really exist. You saw him in Wells' office. The whole thing is a performance. And now I'm starting to feel like everything in my life is bullshit. But he's still my dad. How can I make sure I don't end up like him? Maybe die in the next game? You couldn't be like him <coughs> if you wanted to. You're too awesome. The fact that you believe that makes me feel better. Ugh. Shit. It's time for the play. As if my life didn't have enough drama in it. Good luck. You know you're never supposed to tell an actor good luck before a show? It's bad luck. How is telling someone good luck bad luck? You're supposed to say, break a leg. That's dumb. Hey, I, I was <coughs> thinking that after the show, maybe we could go do something. Just you and me. Something criminal? Criminally fun. <laughs> I'm in. Wait, you forgot your bag. It's for you. Just a little survival kit for your new life on the land. She put it in the trunk. Safe, Chloe. And now it's in the car. Oh, never mind. It's still there. Okay, let's see what Frank wants. Are we in trouble? Who knows? Who's that? That's the woman we saw with Rachel's. Oh my god. Weird. Yo, Frank. It's Chloe. <coughs> I don't know the secret password, man. Is the password drugs? Price, get your ass in here. What could possibly go wrong? Dude, it smells like piss in here. Shut up. You have a rough night or something? Every night's a rough night. I've got a notebook in the back somewhere. Go get it for me, would you? Who is that? Look up! Jeans, man. Get my notebook price. Then we'll talk. Now I'm <coughs> fetching things for Frank. How low can I go? Oh shit! Pompadou, get up here! Pompadou? You little killer. I do. Don't even fucking think about it. Damn. 
I called it. <laughs> is this what I think it is? Ah, shit. I'm in the red. Oh, wow. Time to find out what Frank wants to discuss. Is this it? Have a seat. Pompadour, huh? That's one badass name for a dog. It's French. Does it mean, like, tough guy or something? Do I look like I speak fucking French? <sighs> okay, so <coughs> who was that woman? What woman? The one I saw coming out of your RV. Oh yeah, I meant to introduce you. Her name is Mind Your Own Fucking Business. <laughs> I would like to know more. I bet I can convince Frank it's harmless to tell me. Dude. I'm just curious. What's the big deal? Idiot. I make money by being discreet. No shit, Frank. You think I don't know about hiding things from other people? I'm a teenager. Come on, Price. I gotta protect my clients. Happy customers are the foundation of a good business. Your customers like you because you're laid back. That's why I like you. So you should keep building up that easygoing vibe, you know? Sure, I guess. So why are you so hung up on this chick? Come on, Frank. This is Arcadia Bay. Gossip is all we have to keep us from hanging ourselves out of boredom. I don't know. Frank. Talk. And I'll get my mom to make you something special. Like what? Uh... How about that firehouse chili of hers? <laughs> you, you got it. The woman you saw. <coughs> her name's Sarah. Showed up a few weeks ago. Causing all kinds of trouble for all sorts of people. Like who? It's a little out of your league, okay? But what kind of trouble, exactly? Forget about it, Chloe. Shouldn't have opened my mouth. Thanks... for... telling me. <coughs> Whatever. You hear the mill burn down? Uh, shit! Really? Crazy. My friend Damon runs the place. He lost a lot of money last night. Money from what? Well, he's always had a few things going on. I help him out with some of them. Don't drown me in the details, Frank. <laughs> Lately, he's been doing some stuff that I don't like. But I don't seem to have much leverage with him like I once had. Anyway, you and I have shit to discuss. Is this about the buck 75? What? The money that I owe you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I don't give a shit about that. What? Wait, do you have it? <laughs> Don't you have richer clients to bother? I should fucking hope so. <coughs> well, good. Because I need everything I've got. You're a pain in the ass. I've got bigger problems right now. Open my notebook. Last page. Should be some entries for a kid named Drew. You know him? <laughs> Drew North? Yeah, he's... Holy shit. That's a lot of money. Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Apparently football players eat it like candy. <laughs> That's smart, I guess. It pays well? Go Bigfoots. Problem is, Drew owes a grant, and he's not answering my calls. You know what's going on with him? No. I never talk to him. Or his type. No one's just a type, Price. Anyway, here's the job. I'm taking you to Blackwell. Go to Drew's room, find the money, 
and I'll meet you to pick it up. Can you handle that? <coughs> of course, but what's in it for me? <coughs> you still owe me. So, if I do this, then we're good? That, and I'll do even better. I'll give you a 10% cut of the money. Okay. Yeah, sure. I'll do it. What's the matter? It might be a little tough. I'm not supposed to be at Blackwell. I got expelled this morning. Congratulations. Still easier for you to go on campus than for me. This you can't even is gonna be awesome. price. A hundred dollars closer to leaving Arcadia Bay. With a bit of cash and the truck fixed, Rachel and I could really do it. A hundred dollars isn't gonna get you we anywhere. Could leave for good. I'll do it. Good deal. this soon. Well, here goes nothing. Better hurry up and get into the dorms. And that is where I'm going to end this episode. Um, first off, that Sarah thing, I want to know what's happening with that. Because, um, what kind of trouble is it? And why was she with Frank? Was he causing trouble? Or was he getting into trouble with Sarah? I don't know. Also, what was... Rachel's dad doing. No, he's the DA. <coughs> I'll see you guys in the next episode.